G'day folks, Michael from Doom and Darkness bringing you a, another book review. So today is Saturday and the Grand Alliance of Death book has just come out. So I'm not sure if I should call this a codex, a book, or a book or whatever, but um, I thought I should probably quickly go over it. Now it's not going to be as long as the Chaos Review, even though the Chaos Review was short in itself. This book is about a quarter the size, if a quarter of the size of the Chaos book. So it's really quite small, and um, in Australia I think it was $28. So uh, not so bad. I'm just starting an Age of Sigma Death Army, Undead Army, and uh, I thought it might be pretty handy to have this and carry it around with me. So let's have a quick squiz. So the first thing I'm going to say is that the layout and the format and the style is exactly the same as the Chaos book. <coughs> Excuse me, there's there's no differences there at all. So uh, there's no point in me showing you pictures of you know what the War Scrolls look like. Um, you For the most part, you already know what they look like and the categories that they're divided up into in the table of contents is exactly the same as they are on the Age of Sigma, Age of Sigma, on the um, Games Workshop Age of Sigma website right so there's 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 nothing new and fantastic there what this book really has for you is some fluff not a lot of fluff but you know sort of a page fluff if you can call that one page of fluff on each sort of faction and um, and then it elaborates and gives you some loose fluffy boundaries in which you can build armies into um, but oh no no war, war scrolls so this sort of paragraph just talks about the Death Lords. These are the Mortrax. These are the Nagash. Um, talks about how awesome and how scary they are, and the legions of skeletons and all that sort of traditional shit. Um, and gives you this fantastic image here of Archaon burning some skeletons and Nagash about to go fully fucking whirlwind on no doubt a bunch of bloodthirsters or something. Um, craps on again. The Lords of Shaish and talks about these sort of things. Now all these different categories with all these different fluff. There are no war scrolls for them, right? So don't think that they give you this bit of fluff and describe an army or a faction, or whatever, and then give you war scrolls for it. They don't. It is purely just sort of fluff and just elaborating on what they are and that sort of stuff. It's really quite a nice. Uh, someone said in the uh, comments of the last one that it's just a catalog, and it really is. It's a quite a nice catalog, um, and I prefer to play out of a book than I do out of an iPad, anyways. Um, and this is the sort of stuff that I'm talking about. So here you've got the Blade of the Blood Queen, where it sort of talks about Neferata, and it talks about her army. It talks about how she has a White King as her general or lieutenant, and you know he's got um, uh, the Death Rattle sort of horde with him, the Death Rattle formation with him, and then on top of that he's got this massive army of zombies, which are all the chaos that he's killed that Neferata's raised back. So it sort of tells you very loosely like the army of Neferata but it doesn't give you a formation it doesn't tell you what units to take or whatever else so it's very much up to you you could very much say well I want to you know um, play of Neferata and I want to have the blade of the blood queen or I want to take Cortec or Cortec or something his name is who's the white king um, that that is the blade of the blood queen but I don't want to have all these fucking zombies because honestly who wants to move like 200 zombies around in Age of Sigma not me um, the Iron Haunt host, so this is sort of describing in a fluff-like manner, not in a War Scroll fan, but a fluff-like manner, the the army of Arcan the Black. Um, and this is really cool. It's basically just all spirit hosts. Um, and then ghouls as well. So he's got a ghoul king, a heap of ghouls. So it's sort of like that ghoul king formation, the carrion whatever. Um, and then add Arcan in there and add a bunch of um, spirits as well. So, um, and I like how ghosty... <laughs> this is so you'll see like everything except for the ghouls of course but everything's painted like a ghost because they are ghosts but we love ghosts and Vince loves ghosts too um, this is a soul blood this is sort of where it just groups all the different vampires together so it talks about you know what the soul blight sort of is and the disease and all that kind of shit and who leads them and all this sort of stuff um, so that's pretty cool there's some old uh, there they've inserted um, and the bloody alliance <laughs> this just says guess what all the vampires they stick together because they're vampires um, yeah I mean it gives you 
it gives you names of heroes in here as well. So this bloody alliance, for example, is an alliance of like vampires and shit, which is held together, which is led by a certain vampire who was once certain Manfred and, and sucked from Manfred's veins or something, like a true emo. And, um, you know, that's how you got sort of this sort of shit. So, uh, like, there's, there's a general that they sort of give you and they tell you roughly how this army formed and roughly what it it contains but again it's not defined in war, war scrolls with you know special rules or anything like that at all death mages boring just gives you some fluff on death mages death mages and there you go there's a good example of the war scrolls and how they're laid out for a uh, majority of the units um the macabre I, I can never say this word macabre the macabre court um I think this is a war scroll already, but it just gives you a fluff, and it's no surprise. It's fucking a bunch of ghouls. Um, Beast of the Grave. I like this, actually. This is really cool. The thing I like about... And this is one of the things I like about Age of Sigma the most, to be honest with you. When I used to play 8th, 8th edition, and I used to play Vampire Counts, I always wanted to take a zombie dragon as my rare choice. Right? Not Not with a vampire on top of it, but just a zombie dragon or two zombie dragons and it was something that always frustrated me to a certain ex extent in Warhammer is that the dragons that you could take had to be mounts for your lords and your heroes and I just wanted dragons as like monsters you know um, and now in this you can do it you can you can have a zombie dragon just as your monster so um, and now you can have sort of you know you're not restricted to two terrorgeists you can have a terror geist and a zombie dragon if you wanted or double zombie dragon or something they're not like amazingly good or anything but i actually really like the model um and so that's something that i'm going to be investing in i think for my army would definitely be a zombie dragon and just fuck the vampire off because we all know how much i hate those emo bastards um the legion of death now this is the only war scroll i could find in the book right it's the death rattle legion of death and i'm not sure like I'm pretty sure this is just the one off the off the war scrolls off the internet, right? Like it's nothing that amazing in here. Um, and I was surprised that this was the only war scroll that they added in. I really thought that they would add one or two extra war scrolls in per sort of grouping per faction within the Grand Allegiance of Death, but they they haven't. And this is only it. And I I don't want to move around three units of skeletons. So I don't really care about it, but everything else is right up my alley. The White King Army is probably the sort of army that I'm I'm going for in Age of Sigma, um, just because I like the White King models. I love the Black Knight models. Uh, I love the Grave Guard models, and it's sort of something like Tomb Kings. And actually, the fluff for the army, like it, it does talk about the um, the Legions of Death or whatever they are, and the fluff that they describe for the is sort of all encompassing. And it even said that some of these White Kings and their armies are from desert lands of whatever and ancient empires and this sort of stuff. And it just sort of like uh, almost alludes to say if you wanted to use your Tomb King models as White Kings and shit like that, that would be okay because these guys come from all the lands, you know, that have died in the past. So that's it guys. There's really not a lot to this book. Like I said, it's very small. It's very cheap, it's very simple, and um, it pretty much just contains the Death War Scrolls, which I like because I prefer to carry the book with me and use the book than I do jump back and forth with my iPad and whatever else. It has some nice art, so if you're thinking about buying models and you go, oh, I wonder if they're any good or not, you know, you can just sort of open up to their section, you can read their rules, you can look at the nice picture. Um, that sort of thing as opposed to like on the GW site where you might go oh, I wonder what this how much it costs and whatever else and then you're kind of clicking on the picture and then trying to enlarge it in certain bits and then you know it, it, I just find it better to sort of flick through the book and read it and say oh that actually looks quite nice I might want to get that it does have some very loose constraints for some fluff um, so it gives you basically there are X number of these rampaging death armies across the world and they are loosely consisting of this there's no uh formations for it but it maybe just helps to plant the seed of fluff to anchor that type of army that you want um but there's no progression or there's no further story development or fleshing out of the grand alliance of death story at all 
Um, so they very much have you know kept that separate from like the the Age of Sigma storyline campaign progression books and these sort of codex releases or whatever these are, which I think is a little bit disappointing. I I understand why you know then you can sell two books, one for the rules, one for the fluff. But um, I would still like to see a bit of a return to that old style where you have, you know, some good fluff, um, some good sort of development and the units as well. There are no real War Scrolls. Well, there are lots of... Well, no, that's right. So there are no, like, battalion. There are no formations in here, I should say, um, apart from the one, which we all know and is probably disappointing anyways. Um... So I was a little bit disappointed with that. I, I thought there were going to be a few more different formations and maybe something that I could um, build together, but, um, you know, something I could work towards. But that's not there. Um, so be it. And there's nothing new in here either. Like, you're reading through, and if you've seen the Chaos book, you've seen the format, you've seen the style, so you're familiar with it all, so that's not new and exciting at all. Um, there are no new formations. There are no new, like, units there are no there's just nothing new it's everything that you've already got it's just the same shit so um apart from being a nice catalog to look through and apart from for me personally thinking it's i think it's easier to have this book handy and use the rules out of this book than out of my ipad so apart from that there's no real substance to this book at all there's there's nothing of value outside of the things that i've sort of said Having said that, I think that for the $28, for the ease of playing, for the ability just to flick through stuff and have a look, um, I'm probably happy with it, you know what I mean? I, I, I like to carry this around with my army, and then I can check different shit out, and um, if for whatever other reason, you know, there's another player around who needs to look something up as well, they can just reach over and do it, you don't have to worry about downloading this or downloading that or whatever, so that's the review of this, this codex, guys, it's a little bit underwhelming. Um, but at the same time it's good if you know what you're buying it for so hopefully this is what this video has done if you want to buy it for new war scrolls if you want to buy it for you know some grand fluff or anything like that or new units don't waste your time but if you want to buy it as like a handy catalog to have nearby that's got some nice art it's got the rules in it and you prefer to play out of a book than out of a, an iPad or your iPhone where you have to read a tiny fucking screen then uh, this book is for you, especially at $28 or so. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.